with using production data seems obvious because it's of course most similar to the data that uh, represent your business logic. Um, yeah. But what's what's your uh, perspective on that more from a, uh, from a regulatory point of view? Yeah. Um, well, um, I think everyone uh, by now knows the GDPR. So um, you know when when there's personal data in production data, which there often is, um, we might have a problem. Um, and with we, I mean that uh, a certain governing body thinks that processing that personal data might not be, well, um, uh, acceptable. And that is because we think that people need to know when I'm processing their data. So processing it in the first place, when I put the data in there for a certain purpose with a legal basis, um, does not mean that I can legally use the same data to do some testing which is a total pro a different processing activity. So um, it, it, it matters a lot on the purpose for which I um, gathered the data in the first place and the actual question to which it all begins, um, if there is any personal data in there. Because if there is, it might not be viable to use that production data after all. Um, and that is something that uh, is also a bit of a, a problem because not often do the people that think about the question uh, am I going to use the production data also think about the question is this production data actually data with personal data in it yes or no yeah um, they just see an opportunity to use something um, which I personally totally get um, but we also need to think about the legal implications <laughs>